now sometimes in our darkest moments is when we find the most beautiful silver linings and that happened to our next guest when he found comfort in art when he was close to death. Let's welcome Caesar. Hi. Hi, how are you? Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, thank you for having me here. Now Thanks. you do a very unique kind of art called popotillo. popotillo. Can you tell our viewers what that is? Well, popotillo is a art made out of straw and beeswax and I learned this technique from my grandma and my parents. And then, so, uh, um, how hard is it? Is this like a common art form? Is there a lot of people that do this type of art across the country or in the world? No, not really. Um, actually, it is a dying art, and it's very hard to find it even in, in Mexico. Yeah. And what, what region of Mexico is the art from? Uh, Mexico City. Okay. Now we are standing here amidst three beautiful pieces of art. This one to your left. Can you tell us how long it took you to do it? Like what, can you go through the process a little bit? How do you start? I, I just want to know everything. It's so beautiful. Well, thank you. Yeah, it, it takes uh, about two months. I did this piece for this exhibition in New York and um, it, it is pretty much about the immigration. So can you talk to us? So you mentioned immigration on there. Can you describe a little bit of the pictures or kind of how you're trying to portray the, the challenges that an immigrant has to endure or take upon to come to the United States? Yeah, uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, I start with sometimes I don't have an idea, but this one is a little bit different. But you, you can tell right here um, the family is splitting apart and he's, he's, he's leaving, he's looking for the American dream and you know, and you can see um, his wife and kid is very sad. Now are you, picture. did you immigrate to the United States or were you born here? Uh, I immigrated in 2005. 2005. Yeah. Okay. And it's had a challenge to get here to be able to d d display the art and demonstrate your skills. Yeah, well, when I first came, um, I didn't do the artwork, probably, and I came in 2006, and 2013, I got sick. Uh, both of my kidney fell. I was on dialysis for two years, and then uh, I was very depressed. And my mom told me, yeah, hey, you gotta do something to keep your mind occupied. And that's what I, I started doing it again. And then so she encouraged you to take up this type of art yeah. from your family? Mm -hmm. And then, so right. did you reach back out to the family and say, hey, can you show me how to do this? Well, I, I called my, my, my dad and it's like, um, he actually, he sent me the materials and, you know, to start the artwork cool. again. And then how so, many people do you think across the world that do this type of art, would you say? Not, not, not that many. It's few in Mexico and uh, I'm probably I'm the only one in the U.S. who does it. Wow. Know, so. Now you mentioned materials. Can you tell me exactly what kind of materials it takes to make this? I know straw, mm -hmm. and I read beeswax. Yes, that's correct. And what else? What yeah. do you use for the colors? The straw is dyed with uh, vegetables, the vegetable dye. Um, so pretty much everything is organic. So you have bees, beeswax, uh, vegetables, and the straw. Wow. This, this type of um, straw is um, like broom. Broom straw, the broom. and you can find it, yeah, only in, in Mexico around this volcano, uh, Popocatépetl. So you literally have to dye the pieces of straw piece by piece. I dyed, I dyed, you know, like for bundles. So uh, and then um, the the first step is I, I put bee, uh, beeswax on the paper or wood, foam board in this case, and then um, I stick one single piece at a time, uh, and I cut it with my fingernail piece by piece, so I create. And then the, just real quick, can you talk about this piece as well? Just kind of what this is rep represents for you? Represents, uh, if you can see, the American ego and the Mexican ego in the bottom, pretty much about, you know, both cultures. Uh, for people like, you know, like me, who came to the U.S. when, you know, when, like many years living here, and but never forgetting our uh, culture. Our so pretty much, it's a you know, uh, this piece is about 
these uh, both cultures. So now, Mexico if, and, yeah. if somebody's watching this segment right now and they want to contact you to purchase a piece of art, how would they go about doing that? Well, they can uh, follow me on Facebook. They can uh, text me on, on text message, um, TikTok or Instagram as Caesar Straw Art.